Hello there. Have you ever wondered why some students are just able to do so well on the psychiatric nurse practitioner board exam? You guess it. They had the right content, content you must know. And today, I am mean, going to introduce just a tiny bit of our crash course review. If you want the entire information, if you want information that will be super useful to you, make sure you sign up to our channel or even better, take part of a winning team of psychiatric nurse practitioner board certified that have conquered the exam and that will help you. My name is Dr. Lopez. Welcome to our crash course review by NP exam coach. See you soon. Lithium, 0 0.2, 0 0.6 to 1.2. If the value is 1.3, you don't stop the, the medication, you assess. If the value is 1.4, you don't stop the medication, you assess. If there is, uh, if the patient is symptomatic, then you can stop. Labs. Few labs are concerning in regards to lithium. Well, we covered TSH because we said, hey, it can look like depression. So hypomania can look like depression. Well, TSH, right? If it looks like depression, it could look like uh, uh, bipolar 2 in depressive mode. But if it's mania-like, it can be hypermania. So you look at the TSH. You also look at your kidney, because lithium is kidney, creatinine, BUN. Just like if the lithium is 1.3, 1.4, urine Protein 4 plus on the urine it does not mean you stop. It means you be concerned. You close monitor. It doesn't mean you stop. Now, the side effects of lithium, it can cause hypothyroidism, fine hand tremors. If you see gross, it's no longer a side effect. It is a toxicity. You need to know the difference, okay? Uh, macular popular rash is a common one. T inversion, very popular one, okay? Increased in a white blood count, leukocytosis, okay? These are side effects, somewhat expected. But what is not normal is above 1.5, which is lithium toxicity. You need to know the difference between NMS versus serotonin syndrome. First, NMS caused by whom? Who who who's the cupid? Who's the 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 person or oh, the drugs that cause NMS? Antipsychotics. So if it was not antipsychotics, then it was not NMS. When you have NMS, you have lead pipe rigidity, mutism, shush. Because you have lead pipe rigidity, you have muscles break down. Then you have an increase of CPK. And what's in your urine? Myoglobinuria. <clears throat> elevated white blood count and elevated liver function test. <clears throat> These things in white are most likely to be seen with NMS, but not, <clears throat> excuse me, but not with serotonin syndrome. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing to do is stop the medication. Then you could use two drugs. One, bromocryptine, if the question, or dentroline. You have to look what the question is asking. Is the question asking for a D2 agonist? That makes sense because it was caused by a D2 antagonistic, right? D2 agonistic called the brom, bromocryptine. 
because the muscle rigidity, you want a muscle relaxing. Then you call the dent, the dentrolene. So if the question is asking, it could be both, most likely both will be in the same question. So if you have those symptoms of mutism, muscle rigidity, uh, elevated CPK, elevated white blood count, elevated myoglobinuria for NMS, for serotonin syndrome, you have hyperflexia. Your muscles are flexed, super flex, hyperflexia. And you have a seizure-like activity called myoclonic jerk. So you don't have to know all signs and symptoms of the medication, but you have to know warnings. And for all antidepressants, it can increase suicidality in whom? Patients younger than 23 years old, okay? Now, when it comes to adults versus children, adolescents, right? Who you think is tested the most? who went through the clinical trials, adults, right? So child and teens, they have fewer experience, uh, experimental study investigated the efficiency in children and adolescents compared to adults. So they have a lower placebo response. I have great news for you. You deserve a seat on a table. You study your butt off you passed nursing school, you went to your graduate school, doctor's program. Now you are about to cross the most important test of your life. What if you could have a coach by your side? One that will allow you to take unlimited classes, unlimited recordings, unlimited question bank, unlimited psychiatric nurse practitioner, high youth content. We have a lot to cover. I'll show you how I'll drop the link to my course, the most powerful PMHMP review course in the market. I'll help you to pass the psychiatric nurse practitioner board. Today, use the code name PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, and enjoy a special discount only valid for the next few days. See you soon. Bye-bye.